So the start of the year, uh, I think people thought we were going to be coming back and I had a hunch feeling that I don't think we are. So what we did during the school year is we started a curriculum of let's just start off with one piece. Our first big virtual project was to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Clovis High Fight song. We had them play it. It was the first time they really learned how to clap your hands together in three, two, one. You know, how they were supposed to look at a camera. We were able to put all of that together. I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of a chore just trying to, you know, figure out, okay, my, I need a mic, I need just good equipment to sound somewhat decent and, um, and just be able to adjust. Um, it took a lot of energy. Virtually, it was definitely a huge challenge because everything is mirrored when it's on Zoom, is what we usually use. And I was an online student, so everything I learned was through Zoom, so it was really difficult to come back and everybody's doing the opposite direction as I was. When we started the school year, our, in our heads, we would create a virtual concert that we would release to our parents at the end of the year. Throughout the school year, we would release pieces to also show our community what we're doing in our classrooms. So once we hit the orange tier in our community, that was a sign that we have three weeks to pull this together and to create these outdoor concerts if students wanted to attend and if parents wanted to attend. But an opportunity for them to play their one and only live performance this school year, um, following all the CDC guidelines and as well for our parents that wanted to come to attend. And then three weeks, we were able to do a two hour jazz concert, a hour and a half band concert, an hour orchestra concert, and an hour and a half color guard recital. We did four concerts in two weeks. It took about two to three weeks per group to put it together. Um, we had small chamber groups and combo groups and solos along the way. And parents really enjoyed the fact that we provided an opportunity for the community uh, to attend and also for the students to perform. Man, it's just really great to finally be able to like show that I put in work over all this time. It's always been, you know, playing inside my room. So now it's great to be outside, have an audience of people in front of me. Once you're really back into the groove with everybody, it really feels great and it's really like made me like realize like this is what I want to do and I'm glad that I'm doing this and I'm glad that I didn't just check out and decided just it wasn't going to happen anymore. Um, I think the most exciting thing is getting to hear other groups. It was really nice to hear the V-Band and Clark tonight, and I've missed getting to hear live, mu live music. My closest friends are in here, and so just being able to play with them, it means the world to me. It was actually easier than I thought to transition from like being so like closed up and not like talking to anyone to now performing um, uh, in front of a live audience. What we also did is uh, it was important for us to acknowledge our seniors at all of these concerts and as well as to uh, present them with awards. We completed all of those awards and acknowledged all of last year's award recipients and if they were present to actually hand it out to them in person. It was insane that we're getting some sense of normalcy that because we haven't seen anybody in a huge crowd for it feels like forever and now to see everyone together it's not the same, but it's as close to as normal as we can get, and I just appreciate that I even had the chance to experience that this year. Giving high fives to people, giving hugs, that kind of thing, like touching, because you can't really do that nowadays. Um, so I think when we go back to in-person instruction, it'll just be a little bit more like uh, warm. It'll feel more warm. But right now we are completely planning for a fall season. The calendar for the fall has been set up. Our practices are being set up. So right now we are going on as a full fall season. My hope is that we continue to keep our numbers low and to continue to do all the right protocols to keep us safe and healthy. If anything changes, of course, we will then pivot and find another way to keep music alive um, and keep music going for our community because it's important for our kids, it's important for our parents, it's important for our school. And so these are the things that we're going to consistently always try to think out of the box and go, what do we do now? And how do we keep kids playing and engaged the entire time?